Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, please check out the description box, as always. Got a bunch of useful links down there. Drop a like, subscribe uh, if you like the content. But let's just get going. So this is the third video, and we got SFML to work. Now we kind of have to think about what do we want, how do we want to structure the game. Okay, so every every game that we make, at least I make, I usually make a game class. So the game class, you don't want to make stuff in main, right? You want to make stuff in the game class and just connect everything to that. So we're basically building with Legos here. And that's what we want to do. That's kind of how we want to build it. Uh, so I'm just going to go in here to source, source files. Now I know a lot of you might be working on uh, code blocks or C uh, Linux or something. And then I'm going to try to kind of tell you um, what you sh what you should think about. That stuff that works in Visual Studio might not work in Linux and code blocks. Um, there is a video about that on my on my channel. It's called like Linux something something. It's linked in the description. You can check that out. But I'll still, I'll still go through all that stuff. But let's just add a new class okay so i use the shortcut here uh, and i'll show you what that shortcut basically does so i'm just going to call it game i always name my classes with a big a capital letter and then it creates a h h file i'll just leave it as a h file and a cpp file no base class virtual destructor you don't need to put that in here because we're not going to be doing anything um wait game.h is that correct i don't have my glasses on i think it's correct uh okay and then once the game class is created everything is going to crash but it's just fine there we go okay so now we have our game class uh basically you'll get a header file and a cpp file right and i you should you should know c plus and everything by the time you're watching these videos if you don't please check out those tutorials either mine or someone else's um, but let's just add a very private section here okay so now we got a game class and we have the game destructor and the game everything here uh, and the game cpp now the difference between Linux and Coblox and everything, Coblox Pragma once what might work also for Linux if you're using the new GCC compiler. But if Pragma once does not work, uh, you know how to use that if not defined thingy. So you should you should do that. I'm just gonna use that for you guys anyway. If and def um, game h without these, I'm pretty sure define game h and if okay so you want to use that basically um otherwise everything else should be fine shouldn't be any problems then you just want to include game.h here and we're going to be careful with our includes because we want to make sure we don't multiple include a lot because that kind of cuts down on the um, or kind of adds up to the compilation time and we don't want that so uh, let's just go ahead and copy all the includes here, cut them out in the main file, and we're just going to include game.h, okay? And we're going to go into game.h here, and we're just going to include everything in here instead. So everything we think we might need, we'll include it here. And all the SFML stuff. Now, I'm not just going to have graphics here. I'm going to have graphics, window, and probably system, okay? System include, uh, or I'll just paste that. What am I doing? Audio network. Pretty sure that should work. Okay, so now I have all of these in here. Should be fine. Uh, now our idea here is to create some functions in game that are going to help us out to, to start building this engine. So game is basically going to be our engine. Mm, I just want to make a functions comment. Just make lots of comments, okay? Comments are great. Comments are always good. So I'm going to have a void update function, okay? And a void render function. Um, and I'm also going to have a void run function. Okay, and that's where I want my game loop to be, basically. And then we also need a void update events. Okay, SFML event, so it's going to be very specific. Update, render, and run. Okay, let me think. 
pretty much pretty much that's that's all we're gonna re need right now so what i did there is just on in visual studio you can press control and the period the dot right so control plus this dot symbol while you're hovering over or you can just right click go to quick actions uh, and it will tell you to uh, create a, a definition okay that'll do the same thing so it's a little bit of a shortcut you can do this manually if you want but i think it's it's really annoying and once you're done you can press the little button to the right or to the left of the x and then it will just push you to the cpp file so there you go pretty much we have all our functions here i'm just gonna put that right here okay uh so this game we're gonna have update as from elements so the idea here is to kind of uh bring everything over from here okay and what i like to use i like to use a lot of initializer functions okay and i used to usually have them static functions and then i have in it in initia initialize initialize initializer functions i don't know how to spell it i don't really care anyway you know what it does and then i'll have constructors destructors and then functions so basically here i'm going to have a lot of initializer functions i'm going to call them in here okay and usually i keep them as private so init initialization i'll just say that okay and here we'll have the variable variables so keep everything structured it really helps you out okay and then i'm going to copy this constructor destructor thing and we're going to try to have everything in the same order okay as we're going down um so it will help us to kind of find stuff really easily mm, okay so there we go so we're going to have initializer functions now I'm gonna have a void init yeah lies init, init I'll just call it init window okay init window um, basically that's gonna be it so init window window all the variables we're gonna initialize in the constructor directly okay and I'm just gonna define this function and I'm gonna put it where it should be yeah on the top where i like to have them and then now we're going to go into main so i'm sorry if i'm going a little fast i'm I, i'm going to try to go a little slowly for you guys okay as slowly as i can but I, we do have a tie i do have like about 10 15 minutes to do these videos so sometimes it might seem a little fast but just pause the video go back check it out uh, hopefully you'll you'll be able to follow with me um so here we go. What I want to do is I want to create a SF render window window. Okay, that's what I want to do. I just want to create it here, um, and there we go. So we create a window. Then we're going to have that. And I'm going to make an event as well. I'll create this event. That's pretty much it. What I need right now. Okay, so I'm just going to create the event sf event i'm just going to call it sf event and a window so in initializing the window what i'm going to do right in this function um, i think i'm just going to copy copy that and i'm going to remove the sf render window i'm just going to say this and also equals new sf render window okay and i'm going to make this into a pointer actually because we're going to use this dynamically so i'm going to make a new render window here and that means we really need to clean up stuff in here so this window okay so make sure you delete the window here because we're we're using new so we create a new render window uh, with a certain size and all that we'll we'll figure that out we'll figure out what kind of size we want that to be we'll load that from a file okay we'll load it from a file but for now we'll just keep it as default uh, right there and then we have our sf event so this is gone okay we're not going to use the shape right now then we're going to have this i'm just going to cut all this out and go into game.cpp and i'm going to put it in run okay 
I'm gonna put it in run now. Don't freak out. While the while loop is going to um, be in the run function, okay? So I'm using the run as a while. This window is open. That's all I want in there. And I'm gonna cut everything else out, okay? And then the idea here is to do this update, and then this render. That's all I want to do. And then I want to update the delta time and everything in here as well. But I'll probably do that in update. Um, and then we're just going to paste everything into update SFML events. Remove this. Okay. While this window poll event, this SF event. All right. If SF event. This is of event type is closed. Then I'm going to do this window close. Okay. That means we can close the window. If we don't use the poll event function, we won't be able to press those buttons up top. So that's what you want to do. And we're just going to remove all of that. So that's the update SFML events thingy. Now render is going to have a clear and a display and everything else we want to render render items is going to be right in here. Okay. And we're going to do this window clear and this window display boom so that's our render function update function and we need to call update sfml events so this update sfml events okay that's being called i need a update delta time function actually so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that real quickly now when we call our game constructor we're going to need to call all of our initializer functions. So this init window, I'm just going to call that in there. Okay. So as soon as we create the game object, it will initialize a window for us guaranteed, right? Um, yeah. So pretty much, pretty much. That is, that is good. That is good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then we'll have a, a text file to kind of load everything into this, um, the window. So that seems fine. That seems okay. We've split everything up. Feels good. Now, all I want to do here is I want to do create a game, game, game dot run. Okay. That's all our main does. That's all our main is going to do. We don't want stuff in main. We want stuff in game. Okay. So that will help us out a lot. Now, if I run this, we'll probably crash and burn. Mm, should work. We should at least get a window. Yeah, we got a window drawing and we can close it down. It doesn't crash. Okay. Now, if you were to make more stuff here, it will all work. It shouldn't be any problem. You can add a sf rectangle shape draw it out if you want to do that but we'll we'll uh, test that out in the next video uh, and keep working on this game class and add states and everything we just want to make sure we can have a menu uh, where we can click and we can kind of go go around so we're going to work on a lot of engine stuff before we start with the game and i know that might be a little boring but i'm going to try to i don't know maybe maybe it'll be fun who knows but i'll try to mix it up with all the gameplay as well uh, because all these kind of games, they take a lot of time to, to create, but there'll be a lot of functions here. Everything will be nice and divided and commented, but, uh, yeah, that's just to train you in how to, how to code. What you want to do is you kind of want to comment in here as well. For example, before I leave you, I'm just going to make a little comment here, create a SFML window of window, I guess, using options from a window dot any file maybe just a little short comment in each function just tells you what what's going on okay um, just so you know so that could be good now you probably want to add that to all of these but anyway thanks for watching in the next video we'll probably start off uh, creating that little any file and then trying to load in stuff and and just work on the engine so thank you so much take care if you got any questions please check out the description box write to me check out discord also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, okay? I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.